Well, Joe Biden has certainly alienated a lot of the United States. In fact, his popularity has collapsed in every single demographic group that pollsters track, except college-educated women, where he's more popular. Kind of weird. But Biden is down more than 20 percent among black voters. No one in the Biden administration seems aware this is happening. Here's Pete Buttigieg, for example. Shocks to learn it. You, you do realize, Pete, uh, a lot of black people feel like Democrats have kept no promises since they've been in, since they've been in office. Really? Yes. We Reverend Allen said that a million times. Remember that scene in Animal House when they go to the roadhouse late at night, that one frat boy goes, Otis, he loves us. That's the mind of the white liberals. Black people love us. <laughs> really think that. It's hilarious. Obviously, no one in the administration is watching the Reverend Al on MSNBC. Here's Sharpton just yesterday. Watch this. They're losing people of color because they really don't get the people of color's life. If you are living in a city, in a mm -hmm. neighborhood that is inundated with crime and you act like that is not an issue, you've already lost me. That is an issue. Yes, we must deal with policing. I've been out front of that. But you cannot ignore when 12-year-old kids who somebody's niece and neighbor is killed and you act like that's a non-issue because you're too elitist to live on the ground. Many parts of this country, we need gas to go to work. These beltway elitists, that these limousine liberals here in New York, don't live in the real world. Oh, so it turns out black people actually don't like being shot to death. Oh, thanks, Reverend Al. Actually telling the truth for once. Candace Owens is the founder of Blexit. She's been saying something nice for a long time. She's been attacked for it. She joins us tonight. This, you know, you don't want to overinterpret Al Sharpton on MSNBC, but it you know, he's been a pretty faithful water carrier for whatever Democratic administration's in power. This seems a little weird that he's saying this. Certainly. And there's a lot going on here. First and foremost, Pete Buttigieg yeah. acting shocked. I, I completely disregard him all the time. He took a longer <laughs> maternity <laughs> leave than I did. I don't take him seriously at all. But <laughs> Al Sharpton's interesting. And you're correct that we shouldn't misinterpret what he's doing here because he wants us to believe that he's telling the truth. But in reality, what he's trying to do is save whatever clout he has left in black America. This is actually a signal. It should be a marker for us for how bad things have gotten in black America. Right. Because Al Sharpton used to go around and he, he lies full time to black America about their circumstances. Yeah. Is. Even when he says, oh, out of touch the way black Americans are living. Uh, you too, Al Sharpton. Yeah, you live in a $2.1 million penthouse in the Upper East Side, and that's just one of your homes. You have an over $3 million tax lien, last I checked, and you have to be making a ton of money to have a $3 million tax lien. Let's just be very clear on that, right? <laughs> so he has no idea how black Americans are living either. But what he's realizing right now is that black Americans for a long time have followed his lies. They believed his lies. They kept believing that Democrats would make their lives better. Well, suddenly looking around and they're saying, okay, OK, things are actually so devastatingly bad in our community that we will no longer buy the lie that voting for a Democrat is going to make things better. And we have just watched. We listened to you. We voted for Biden and Kamala. And things have gotten progressive, not even progressively worse, it, uh, embarrassingly worse. You, I, I did not even predict that it would get this bad this quickly for black America. So what he's doing is he's saving his own skin, right? So now he's trying to play the, oh, well, I'm now going to be the, the, the peacemaker, the communicator of how black Americans are feeling. And, and so we shouldn't misinterpret it. Yes, he is telling the truth, but his motives behind telling the truth is really just to save Al Sharpton's own skin so he can purchase another penthouse. I mean, the only person that I know that has a bigger real estate empire than Al Sharpton is p perhaps Black Lives Matter leaders. But can I just ask you, a lot of the people who lecture us from some high moral pedestal don't pay their taxes, I've noticed. How do you wander around free with a $3 million tax debt? I mean, the rest of us kind of pay our taxes because we're afraid not to. Like, how does he get away with that? Right. He votes Democrat. That's it. I mean, it's pretty yeah. simple. If you vote Democrat, you're never held responsible for anything. How is Hunter Biden not in prison based on what's been put in his laptop? I mean, could any other person be doing drugs in a laptop and not be arrested and do the things that he's done regarding prostitution and drugs? No, but you vote Democrat. And if you're willing to to vote for Democrats and, and do their I mean, and do their bidding and bring voters to them, you know, they'll look and pretend that you haven't done anything. And so it, it's sad. But that is the truth of the circumstances. They never have to pay for the things that they do. Yeah, it's discouraging to those of us who pay our taxes. I Honestly, it really is. Candace Owens, appreciate your clarity, as always. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.